like to introduce to you our special guest ring announcer for this bout. I he know. is. I don't have the that. Million I, don't, dollar I, don't, I don't either. What, wait a second. What's going on here? The million dollar man is going to be the special guest ring announcer. If I heard the Finkel right. Well, I don't special have guest one. ring announcer. Everybody's got a prize. Well, this is certainly something that we have Everybody not been informed of. Ted DiBiase. I, I don't understand what's going on. Well, there's nothing wrong with being a special guest ring announcer. What's the point? We'll find out. Million Dollar Man with uh, a lot of C notes there. My goodness. Wait a minute. You don't just look. He's paying him off. Yeah. something about Ted DiBiase. The Texas Tornado made him look like a fool, and DiBiase don't forget that kind of stuff. And I don't know, something besides Mr. Portnick stinks here. So what are you trying to say now? This is where we made our predictions, Roddy Piper. Uh -huh. And you said you were going with the Tornado, and I said Mr. Perfect would be the winner. Yes, you did. So let's just see what happens. Here he comes, the Intercontinental Champ. Texas Tornado will lose the Intercontinental Championship. Because just like I said, he was singing, it's gonna be a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Well, now there's a technical reason, because he was singing it's gonna be a blue Christmas. I don't know, I think, given everything a fair shake, I think the Texas Tornado's on a run. Already Perfect's taking a hike out of the ring. What's the million dollar man is doing that? I have no idea, maybe jobs are hard to find. And Boone's just doing what he does best, hanging onto the ring poles. You know, I, I still can't believe that for all these years, Howard Finkel would sell out. Okay, look at him. Look, the money's right there. Look. And again, I he's a decent guy. Million Dollar Man is very persuasive. Maybe he's there to learn. I don't know. Maybe he's there to challenge the winner. And the Intercontinental Championship up for grabs there. Texas Tornado has taken no notice that I know of that even DBS is there. I'm not even sure he knows he's What's he doing? Sir. You made your money. You can leave. Oh, talking to Finkel. Oh, you will recall it was at SummerSlam when Texas Tornado challenged Mr. Perfect with only 10 days notice. Mr. Perfect took the match and summarily lost in what was certainly an upset at that time. Lost the Intercontinental title. He didn't lose anything it was taken away from him you know that Vince McMahon what's the difference he's getting it back you wait you watch okay. I picked Mr. Perfect I told you that Roddy okay I picked Texas Tornado up goes the tornado down goes the tornado and Mr. Perfect kind of well Perfect. he's not his normal aggressive self he seems to be a little more defensive in this match than we have seen him in the past, obviously out of respect for the skills of the Tornado. Or is it that, or does he know something we don't know? What are you trying to say now, Piper? I'm you, I don't really know what I'm trying to say. I just got a feeling. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. I wrestle by sense of... But I, what I'm saying is I wrestle by sense of smell. I fight like I feel, and I feel there's something wrong. Mr. Perfect wiping him down, giving him a little bit of advice. Is that too confusing for you, Hunter? Uh -oh. No, it wasn't confusing at all. Oh, oh, oh. Double knocking, Knocker, I guess you'd call that. Sense into Mr. Perfect, maybe. And Bobby, a brain heater. Mm, no, no, not with Boobsy. You gotta, there's gotta be some sense in the air to be able to knock it in there. 
There's actually no reason for him to put his hands on Bobby Heenan, though. No, no, no reason at all. <laughs> Excuse me if I disagree. Tornado now. Likewise, certainly respectful of the skills of Mr. Perfect, one of the great technical wrestlers in the World Wrestling Federation. Oh, look at this. These two really going at it, winding him up. Pressure on the elbow, the shoulder. Notice how he's got the wrist. You notice how he bends the wrist out. All he's doing here is he's trying to wear out different body parts. Got a little bit of hair there. A lot of hair there. There's a lot on the line here. You can do a lot in these matches because this is a championship match. It's for the Intercontinental belt. Oh, right to the midsection. Nicely done. That'll mess up a short rib. Yeah, I'll say. It appears as far that the momentum is possessed by Mr. Perfect's up position. Texas Tornado. Come on, Tornado. Tornado is really taking it too far. Cutting off the ring, kind of confusing him. Perfect has been out of the ring two different times here. Oh, my. Now, why didn't you call that move like you see it, Rowdy? A, a good shot right to the face. Now we agree on something. Mr. Perfect now, perhaps changing the tide, moving in on the Texas Tornado. Series of uppercuts. Tries to yank him out of the corner. Does indeed. Out front reversal. Oh, through it. Oh. Time you now. Texas Tornado's really got to summon his guts and, and think of what he's doing. Oh, wait a second. Out of nowhere, Ted DiBiase gets up from the timekeeper's table and clobbers the Texas Tornado. And look at this. Sits down like, I'm just going to fly the moves. Nothing ever happened. Well, nothing ever happened. Get sprayed with arrogance. Mr. Now, Perfect, all over Texas Tornado. Referee trying to maintain some order here as we look at the Intercontinental Championship in the back of the Million Dollar Man, the guest ring announcer. Mr. Perfect now setting up Tornado, yes! Drop oh, kick, that was all the way to the outside. Beautiful. Right drop. in the head. Wait a minute, DiBiase's over there again. DiBiase ramming, oh! He's first to the ring close. Come on, Tornado! This talk hey, about this is long side, it's talk about long side. You got Ted DiBiase as the special. You've got boobs out there. You're talking Texas Tornado fighting three guys. But you forget what the Texas Tornado did on the Brother Love show last week. He didn't do nothing except help a poor kid in trouble. Come on, Tornado. Turn around and give it to him. Texas Tornado. Oh, uh, big laugh. Yeah, things are real funny around here. The championship's on the line, and the Texas Tornado giving it his all, as is Mr. Perfect at the moment. Put him away. Mr. Perfect now with Texas Tornado. Yanked him with a handful of hair. No reversal again. 